It's Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz, and we are joined by John D'Amico. He is the mayor of West Hollywood. Interestingly, the first first time mayor in 13 years because so many of your colleagues are longtime council members. That's exactly right. And uh, what's really marvelous about West Hollywood is that there's this um, sort of extraordinary history that comes to every meeting, right. and there's the new guy. Right, and right. And I'm there too. And uh, I think, in a way, that's a metaphor for what West Hollywood is. It's about new things happening in the midst of all of this history. And let's talk about what's happening in West Hollywood. I think a lot of folks have a perception that West Hollywood is is either uh, a fun spot for gays and lesbians or a quiet spot for old Russian immigrants. Well, like I just said, it's sort of both. Right. You know, our, our history uh, of the city was that it was started by seniors and gays and lesbians right. and people who wanted rent control. And P.S. Mostly people who wanted rent control. Right, of course. And rent right. control is long established and going nowhere anytime soon. We hope. And uh, sadly, many of the seniors have passed away. So mm -hmm. what we're left with is a city that is uh, continually filling up with more and more young people, and has a, an aging gay and lesbian population that's now mostly like me in their 50s and 60s, and some in their 40s. So there. But let's talk about the young people because yes. it's not necessarily young gays and lesbians. That's right. It's, it could be young heterosexual couples with a three-year-old. It's very much that. Right. I mean, our city is now a place where if you want to rent a new apartment, you have to have a pretty darn good job. Sure. And if you want to buy a house, you have to be making probably in the six right. figures or more. So our city has very much gentrified into the place that's uh, sort of groovy family right. friendly. I want to talk about older gays and lesbians because the reality is I think this is the first generation, maybe first decade, where there is a bona fide acknowledgment that older gays and lesbians may have certain needs that have not been met in the past. Uh, we're starting to meet those needs, but it's still a work in progress. What is West Hollywood doing to meet the needs of older gays and lesbians? Well, I think in some way we're inventing that mm. right now. Mm -hmm. There was that uh, extraordinarily tragic generation of men who died of AIDS. Right. And uh, many of them uh, disappeared, went home, or, right. or died. Right. And, but uh, now they're but now living. it's different. Absolutely. And they're living That's with exactly or without right. HIV. That's exactly right. right. And I think our city is... Uh, inventing how it is that gay men and in many ways lesbians will mature right. into their 50s and 60s as married couples who have an investment in the community right. beyond just being gay guys at a bar. But what about 70s and 80s? See, that that's what interests me because it is in so many ways a forgotten population. Likely don't have children. I mean, your this right. generation may 40s, 50s, but you know, 70s and 80s, these people were not having children. Right. Well, and so, you know, not a lot of relatives around. For for men uh, who are in their 70s and 80s, one of them, I have a very good friend, John Ultra. We've had right. coffee every Saturday morning okay. for 10 years. And we talk about that, about right. how to uh, maneuver the city into a place where it's helping people to age in place and looking at how our regulations and laws assist or, or don't assist. So I mean, are they aging in place or are they moving to the desert, for example? Most are aging in place. Mm. They're in rent-controlled apartments and they're living there for as long as they can. One of the problems of rent control is that if you're in your apartment, you and you're on the second floor or the third floor, oh, right. you can't really switch to, to the one on the place. Yes. Right. So there are some some concerns. The, you know, our city has long been a walkable place, and that was uh, sort of championed by the older Russian women right. who walked down to the store to get their potatoes right. every day. Right. And I think in that way, our city is prepared to do this. In other ways, in terms of transportation and apartments and living and healthcare and many of the things that uh, older people. Uh, confront right. on a daily basis. straight. I mean, yes, <laughs> those are the things right. that are sometimes challenging. It's a fascinating issue. I really appreciate you joining us. His name is John D'Amico. He is the mayor of the city of West Hollywood, a city that is no doubt on the move, a beautiful city. I want to thank you so much for joining us. My name is Brad Pomerantz. I want to thank you for joining us on Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.